Welcome back, my fellow poets, to another Spooky Saturday video. To those of you who stumble across my content for the first time, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and I narrate true paranormal scary stories who focuses more on atmosphere rather than visual aid to terrify you. So sit back, relax, and step into the world of the unknown. We've all experienced some form of loss, whether it's a family member or a friend, but the ones that hurt a lot of people deep down is their pet. We feel that void in our home that was once alive now seems empty. However, there are instances where they seem to come back to send a message of, I'm okay, don't worry, I never left. Tonight, I'll share with you two unbelievable stories where deceased pets come back and make their presence known once again. Let's begin. Story 1 Hello, paranormal poet. My name is Rose, and my story I have for you today isn't scary as it is heartwarming and comforting. I'll start by saying that near the start of this year, 2024, I was blessed with a dog named Daisy, a black lab with the liveliest of barks. Her and her doggy playmate would run around the yard tearing up my parents' grass, but they didn't care as long as they were happy and getting their energy out. Though she wasn't my dog, she definitely made my day whenever it went downhill. Last month, I got quite the news when my parents informed me that she had just got out of the vet. Turns out, Daisy had developed cancer in her stomach. We all were devastated that day, but that wasn't going to stop us from giving her the best remaining days to remember. I went on her last walk, and just a few days later, Daisy peacefully passed away. When she was alive, she had her own room with a cozy, soft dog bed. I had made my way over to my parents' place to do some cleaning. I remember my dad would always tell me, don't open the curtains. Daisy always barks at everyone and anything. Out of instinct to get more natural light into the room to see, I open the curtains. When somewhere in the room, I hear an undeniable Labrador bark inside the house. I was caught off guard because my dog is the same as Daisy, but slightly bigger. And to my shock, he was outside sunbathing on the porch. It sounded like Daisy too, as she had a tendency to whine as well as bark. As I began looking around for who was barking, I saw a white mist low to the ground that stayed there for about three seconds and disappeared behind the door frame. I was so confused, but felt blessed at the same time as I took it as a sign that Daisy made her way back to let me know that she was indeed happy and barking at everyone and anything, just in a realm I don't always see. That experience gave me peace of mind that she never left. Story 2 Hello to you, my wonderful community. This story is different because it's an experience that happened to me. This is my first time sharing it. It all begins with a friendly cat named Tabby. Well, we called him Tabby because it was simple enough. He was the friendly neighborhood cat that everyone knew and loved. The neighbors who owned him had called him Tubby for Chubby Tabby. He was both an outdoor and indoor cat. It suited him because while he experiences the warmth and comfort of a home, he wasn't tied down and could cure his boredom by being curious and exploring. By the time I knew him, he was already 10 years old. On days where the owners would be going out of town to go to their cabin in the mountains for two days, they'd ask me to feed him. This is where I began fitting into Tabby's picture. Every time he came to my house to relax and eat food, I would make it a habit to go to the backyard, because I know how his mind worked. He wanted to explore, and so did I. 
so he would finish his food and follow me around to the back. It was then he started creating a bond with me and was excited any time he saw me walk down the driveway. He knew it was for one thing and one thing only, food. He was my favorite cat I ever personally knew. Then one day, his owners took him to the other house where he would act like his normal self, excited for food, being all active, to not seeming interested in the food or even his bowl of water. That's when they took him to the vet to discover he had a type of blood cancer. I don't know whether it was leukemia, but cancer nonetheless. Understanding the owners not wanting him to suffer, Tavi peacefully passed away at the age of 10. When my grandma broke the news to me, I was shocked, but knew he wasn't suffering anymore. At that time, I was in my garden talking to her. I walked to the sunroom, where there was a massive bay window, and upon looking at the garden, I saw Tavi sitting there, looking in at me. I saw his orange coat with white underbelly. I saw his undeniable green eyes. When I saw that, I processed it and double took and asked, was that for real? Just to see that he had disappeared. That moment was the first time a deceased pet who shared a bond with me came back to let me know he is still my buddy. Even if I can't see him all the time, at least sometimes, and that is enough to give me peace. If you have made it to the end of the video, comment down below your favorite story or what gave you chills. Please give this video a like, subscribe, it will truly help. I love you all, and until next time, farewell poets.